Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan just named an interim police chief to run the department when Chief James Craig steps down in June. James E. White will take over the role until a new chief is selected. White will be leaving his current job, leading the Michigan Department of Civil Rights. He's also a state licensed mental health counselor. In the past, he also served as assistant chief of Detroit Police. 7 Action reporter Jim Kersner is live at the Detroit Golf Club, where the department is holding its first annual neighborhood liaison golf outing. Jim? Ellen, Police Chief James Craig is here. He was not at that news conference with the mayor and the interim chief. Interim Chief White says Chief Craig came into Detroit, his hometown, when he was sorely needed with the Detroit bankruptcy and many other problems, but times are a little different now. I'll certainly take a lot of what he's instilled in me uh, and taught me about leadership. He is really one of the smartest police minds I've ever had the privilege of working with. Uh, but I will do uh, James White. I will not do James Craig. James White, eight years under Chief James Craig, 24 years in the department. He left last fall to become the head of the State Office of Civil Rights. He immediately promoted two in Chief Craig's inner circle, Todd Bettison and David LaValle, to be his first and second chiefs, respectively. They rose through the ranks together. First assistant chief under Craig, Lashinda Stair, announced over the weekend she's retiring. It's clear White will be on trial to prove he's worthy of the permanent job. I expect the department to be united. I expect it to have a clear strategy in reducing crime. I expect it to continue the tradition of treating all of our citizens with respect. Board of Police Commissioners will hire a search firm and make up a list of candidates for the permanent job to give to the mayor around the end of summer. He must pick from that list. City Council will also have to vote to confirm the pick. One commissioner says he wants to see improvements this summer. Crime is at an all-time high in our city. People are afraid to walk the streets. We have people racing and drag racing and doing a whole bunch of stuff that they should not be doing. White says he will also focus on police who have intense times on the job. He has a master's degree and a mental health counselor's license. He wants to put counselors in all precincts for cops to be able to decompress. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy released a statement about Interim Chief White that says in part he accepts responsibility and is not quick to blame. In his dealings with me, he has been even temporary and is simply about getting the work done. He's not a glory seeker. I'm humbled by those words, uh, and I'm glad that uh, the prosecutor, Madam Prosecutor, have, has received me uh, in a way that uh, is very positive for, for me and this organization. Do you take that as a reference to the previous chief? I'm not getting into that. I'm not getting into that at all, sir. Good try, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> We're not starting the governor's campaign yet. Now, Chief Craig is here. He says this will be a smooth transition with the leadership team under the interim chief. And we asked the chief, was the prosecutor referring to Chief Craig being a, quote, glory seeker? I'm going to assume that it is not a reference to me. Uh, and this is why I started my, my remarks out this way. Glory seeking is one thing. Those are people that are self-serving, opportunists. Uh, I have never fell into that category. What I am is a public servant. The prosecutor is a public servant. Judges are public servant, and we're responsible and accountable to the people we serve. So glory seeking, uh, I can't imagine that she would ever make that reference to me. And in case you're wondering, Chief James Craig has said nothing more about possibly running for governor. He says that'll be after June 1st. Reporting live, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thanks for that live report.